is there basically our, our, do we see a, a certain level of responsibility in giving um, internet access to everyone um, when it comes especially to economic development, employment, education, et cetera? Is that right? About right? The, the utilization that they have once they have this access. Yeah, so definitely, 100%. Um, you know, there's, there's like a, a cruel irony with innovation and technology and development and that's that we've done so much, especially as a company, we've done so much to innovate. And as we innovate, we know that there are people that are being left behind from that. And we have a responsibility, we feel a very real responsibility to make sure that we're not contributing to everyone being left behind. Um, we feel like as we continue to innovate and develop that there's obviously um, opportunities for people to be taken advantage of online, especially the most vulnerable populations. Um, we feel a, a, a very strong obligation to try to um, raise awareness about those issues and to, to help people navigate through that, teaching tools and tips, putting out you know, videos and educational materials to help people navigate those uh, threats and, and issues that can happen once they're connected. Um, from an economic development standpoint and an educational standpoint, you know, I, I think it, I can't speak for all internet service providers, but I, I feel like I can speak for Comcast. And I, we have demonstrated a commitment to education, to workforce development over a long history of time. Um, and our commitment is, is demonstrated in many ways through the Internet Essentials Program and through our other community impact initiatives. Um, we we feel very strongly that it is unacceptable to have an uneven playing field for our students who are going to school, that it's unacceptable that so many low-income students are having to do homework on smartphones in the parking lots of McDonald's. Um, I, had, I, I can tell you hundreds of examples of stories, but I'll give you one. Um, I met a, a young man, Tommy, um, he lives in he lived in public housing in Miami, and he and his sister, um, and his brother, and his uh, nephews were all using one smartphone. Um, he was in high school at the time. Um, he had dreams and hopes of going to college, um, thankfully and wonderfully. He is there. He received a full ride scholarship um, to Florida State University and just completed his first. Um, year there uh, and, and was put on the president's list, so a 4.0 GPA. But absolutely incredible person, didn't have internet at home. Um, we were able to connect, connect his family in 2016 when we expanded um, the program to reach uh, recipients of HUD housing. And to see the transformative impacts that it, having the internet at home had on him and also his sister and his mom, his sister went on to get um, uh, an associate's degree. She has since gone into um, a workforce where she's uh, um, working in a, I can't remember any of the words I'm looking for right now, but she's working in a, a facility where um, it's, it's very much like a jail. Um, she is a guard and that is an amazing achievement for her and she had to get a degree for that and pass a lot of different exams, both physical and um, uh, literacy exams as well. They're, mother is um, working on her GED. These are just incredible results and we feel like we have an, an obligation to those families. They live in our service area and the, the fact that there are people who live in our service area that can't experience the technology that we have offered is sad and unacceptable. So we're trying to fix that and, and make it a priority of ours to do so.